everybody welcome back James here again with you and before I start today's video I want to give a special thanks to everybody out there whether you're just a subscriber or a viewer or both we hit 14,000 subscribers uh, on the channel here so big special thanks to everybody you know I truly appreciate it so let's dive into today's video so today's video we're going to be covering a budget setup um, for a PCP that has pretty much all the bells and whistles that a higher end PCP has and that is the Umarex gauntlet now I found this gauntlet I got mine on a super sale basically over the holidays but regular price from where I got this at at sportsmansguide.com and put all the links in the video description so check it out um, the gun is right now for 243 I believe if you're a member I truly I uh, think you need to be a member. Um, Sportsman's Guide, the regular price is $270, I think, but $243, you cannot beat it. Um, like I said, I got mine on a super sale over the holidays. I paid like $215 for it and free shipping and everything. The only thing I had to pay was sales tax. So, anyway, you can get this gauntlet for uh, $243 as of today from Sportsman's Guide. Um, I think they're out of stock right now, but you could pre-order it and still get it for that price still cheaper than the advertised uh, $299 or right under $300 and I know some places are charging more so why not why you know wait why wait for a couple weeks and get it cheaper so also you're gonna need a optic this has no other type of mounting system or sighting system besides a dovetail uh, you're gonna need an optic whether you want to do a red dot or something like that well, my setup here, this is a Pinty 4 to 16 by 40 scope with an adjustable objective lens. Good thing about PCPs is that uh, they are not sensitive to hold and they don't damage scope. So you can use a regular rifle scope if you want. Any type of scope works. Um, it's not like a, a spring brake barrel piston uh, air rifle or anything along that nature where you have to shoot a, uh, with a Magnum uh, scope you don't you can use any type of scope now these scopes uh, the reason why I chose this one is because they're just like the old center points I'm a huge fan of center point scopes and they don't make them like uh, they did a while back they changed it over to a um, basically like a ballistic drop reticle for the high-powered caliber rifles and firearms and I wanted a mill dot on this gun and so this is the closest thing that you can find to that scope and it looks exactly like the old center points and for this scope this was a $46 scope on eBay free shipping um, so great buy I mean you can get all this stuff I'm about to show you a pump too that you can get with this gun um, and it's kinda it's mediocre hand pump friendly but uh, you know it's gonna take you a minute from pumping it up to zero so uh, yeah the gun, 240, uh, 243 scope is like $45, $46 with free shipping, depending on where you, you know what price you get it at. Um, let's move on to the pump. Now you're going to need some type of air source, whether you get a bottle or whatever, an extra bottle, fill it up yourself, bigger bottle. But this right here is the most dependent air source, in my, you know, in my opinion. There's, these pumps are so inexpensive. I mean, you can get these on eBay also for $45. Great buy. They come with rebuild kits, a wrench. I mean, if anything goes wrong, you can fix it yourself. And it's pretty self-explanatory how they work. Um, I've had this one since June of 2017. Flawless pump. Um, works great. Now, I did rebuild this one, but it was because I've used it so much. Um, you know, I pumped up the Chief probably over a thousand times and I pumped it up probably 20 times from zero um, I pumped up a paintball bottle a 62 cubic inch paintball bottle which is uh, five times more than the gauntlet bottle and I pumped the gauntlet bottle up uh, from 1100 about six times now and I pumped it up from zero once so this this pump is a champ uh, especially from they claim you know Chinese these things are awesome um, you know you're going to be spending a lot of money on a high-end pump if you go for USA made but pretty much all of them are made in China now so anyways pumps $45 uh, the scope is $45 
which has a illuminated reticle, uh, blue and green, I believe, if you wanted to do that, or you could choose different ones. But Pinty scope, uh, so far, awesome scopes. I'm getting really good accuracy out of them. I mean, you probably guys see my last video at this with this gun at 45 yards. The H&M Barracuda match are pretty much one ragged hole. I mean, it, basically just one ragged hole at 50, 45 yards. And the rest of the pellets pretty much followed suit on the Crossman Premiers and the JSB uh, 1589s. I mean, this scope is, is awesome for the price point. And it comes with the sunshade and everything. Every, everything you see here, um, the link will be in the description below. So I hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. And again, I appreciate you watching. And, you know, big thanks again for hitting 14,000 subscribers. If it wasn't for you guys wanting me to make videos, this would never happen. So, um, but if you're looking for a budget setup gun and you want the, you know, magazine-fed rifle and um, regulated gun, bolt action repeater, um, you know, basically all the bells and whistles that you're going to get on a rifle that costs could cost over a thousand dollars and match grade trigger by the way you know you can get this set up for under 350 bucks i mean that's just it's that's pretty that it's that simple i mean it doesn't cost a lot of money um yeah 350 bucks might be a lot up front but um you probably won't ever buy another pcp again unless you know you want to go bigger caliber this is 22 they make them in 17 177 and they're going to make this umarex gauntlet 25 so there you go. Alrighty, everybody. I appreciate it again. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.